Mega Movie Man Mark. What's up guys, I really wanted to do a parody for The Martian and I had it all planned out, it was in my head, I'm like, yeah, I'm writing stuff down, I'm like, okay, this is gonna be awesome. The problem is, those take a while to make. I usually do a parody before the review, this time two separate videos, so I could tell you how The Martian is before you go see it. Or what if it's bad? Then you don't see it. That's the way a review works. Finally, I'm getting this right. So The Martian, I saw it early because of the Toronto International Film Festival. I was so excited when I got this because you're not guaranteed a ticket. You could just be waiting in line for nothing. First, I thought we weren't gonna get in because a big bunch of people got let in, right? And then the line stopped right at me and my friends and we're like, oh no, like, come on. And the lady in front of us who got let in was like, ah! <laughs> Sorry, good luck. And we're like, dude, how mature are you? And then when we got let in, I really wanted to see her and just be like, we're here, what's up? So the movie starts, the 3D is off the walls, crazy, unbelievable. There's a big storm in outer space, the debris is flying everywhere. I felt like I was there, I was tripping out. Not only that, but the sound was unreal. And why? Because there were speakers behind the screen. Now, I know IMAX does this, but I've never felt it, you know? I've never, mm, in my chest. The floor was shaking when the spaceship launches off. Shaking! So happy that I'm not even exaggerating this. Right from the get-go, I'm like, this is an experience. This is the best 3D since, like, gravity. And then before that, Star Trek II. It's always a space movie or a sci-fi movie. Your move, Star Wars. So the visuals are great, the sound is unreal. When someone is just doing something simple like breathing, <laughs> the whole theater was full of breath. But yeah, this movie is insanely good. There's no other way to put it. So well made, so worth the time and the money. So I have to go pee, right? I couldn't find a good time. The movie was so intriguing and every scene was special. When it would cut to a new scene, I'm like, all right, are we good? Are we good to go? And no, this is the first time a movie feels really long but it's not a bad thing. I felt like I was in the theater for like three years because that's how long the movie takes place over a span of. And you see Matt Damon getting skinny and growing a beard. It was such a crazy experience. And the only crazier the experience could have gotten is if that neon cat thing showed up in space. <laughs> Farting out the rainbow. Now we're vomiting rainbows on Snapchat. I wasn't a big fan of the comedy, to be honest. It was very, very subtle humor. A lot of it was like punchlines, like at the end of a serious scene, Matt Damon would swear, and that would be the punchline of the scene, because it's like, wow, you just went through all that, and you swore, ah! It was funny the first few times, but they do it more than once. The action was also great, and it felt real. Like, if someone said, did they film that movie, like, with a green screen, or did they actually Filmed it, what, did they actually film the movie in space? Yeah, they, well, no. Uh, someone doesn't know what they're talking about because there will be those conversations. It's because this movie is so well made. That's that's the only, you do, you feel like they went to space and, to film it. Same thing with Gravity, but this is better than Gravity. 4.5 out of 5 Mega Marks, my favorite movie experience of the year, like by far, and one of the best movies of the year. What's your most anticipated movie of October? Because October is here. Steve Jobs, Goosebumps, what else is coming out? You tell me. I'm mega cool, and now you are too.